Got laid off from my job, not a penny to my name. I'm terrible at theme songs. Here's working man games. Woo. Okay. Shit. Dude. That was almost it. I almost took you out. Oh, fuck. I'm sorry. I'm... I got a stalker, y'all. They are on my damn property and they're trying to kill me. Can you believe that shit? Can you... Ooh. Okay. I know, y'all came here to see Working Man Games, and I'm gonna give you all that. But first, I got a problem. I guess y'all need to know how this problem become. So here we go. I did a review of their games and they found out about it and they wasn't very happy about it. What's well, worse is it's a fucking furry. Can you believe that shit? But I know exactly what to do with furries that ain't much to look at. I'm gonna get ready to do that shit right now. Hunting games, nothing. This is when the hunter becomes the hunted and it's becoming the hunted right now. This ain't no normal person after me, man. It's... Ooh. It's the Deer Avenger. An undisclosed amount of time earlier. So in our hunting games episodes, we've been looking at games that are kind of, you know, real. You know, they're, they're serious. They're serious games meant for serious people who want to seriously be taken seriously. Don't look at me like that. Al-Qaeda is serious business. But now we're gonna take a look at something that's not near as serious. Something called Deer Avenger. Deer Avenger was a cute little piss take on the Deer Hunter series made by Simon & Schuster Interactive, which was owned by Viacom. It was a subsidiary to Simon & Schuster itself, which is owned by CBS. The interactive version of it made video games, mostly computer games actually, with a lot of licenses and parodies in mind. It made a bunch of Star Trek games and parodies such as Who Wants to Beat Up a Millionaire? <laughs> and educational edutainment games such as Oh Dear. So without further ado, let's go down the list. There are four Deer Avenger games. We might be able to get through them pretty quick because the first and second one, there isn't really much to talk about other than this excellent cutscene of our protagonist anti-hero Bambo escaping captivity on the wall there, grabbing an M16 and getting ready to kick some redneck ass and chew tobacco and he's out of tobacco. It's showtime. So the first thing you're greeted with is an artwork of our fearless hero showing off a clean kill. So there is a weapon screen, but I'm here to tell you the first and second weapons just seem to do the exact same damage. As for the slingshot, yeah, I have a few things to say about that. It may not be strong, but it's stinky. And so does he. Yeah, I'll go ahead and tell you these developers really love their poop and fart jokes. You also have three maps you can go to, including... West Virginia. West Virginia! It's showtime. Now, if you watched my video on hunting games where I took a look at the Deer Hunter series, you'll recognize this screen from Deer Hunter 1. It's the... MAGIC CIRCLE! And it's still a pointless clicking away at nothing hoping you get something thing. But it's a parody, so it's funny, right? Sure, why the fuck not? But now let's get into the gameplay of this shit. Now as you can see right off the bat, it looks very similar to Deer Hunter. Or at least the first one. Other than the sprites of our fearless leader, Bambo. Yeah, Bambo, that's his name. You'll also notice instead of antlers to rattle, we have... And instead of deer calls, we have redneck calls. Oh my god, there's a 30-point buck over here! Uh-oh, somebody's pickup truck's over here and they left their lights on. And Ted Nugent's here, who wants to meet the Nuge? My dog's carrying around a deer dick. The binoculars are just as useless in here as they are in Deer Hunter 1. Go, Rocky, go. Okay. 
Well, except for a few Easter eggs here and there. So what about actually killing some rednecks? Well, all you really gotta do is line up your crosshair and then just spam the left mouse button. Nuts! Now I can't go see WrestleMania. Once you kill a redneck, you instantly go to the trophy room where you see you've got seven rednecks to kill. Well, technically three rednecks, a pretty boy, a businessman, a tree hugger, and a guy who lives in the woods. I don't get the choice for half of the characters you get to kill in Dear Avenger. I mean, in one and two, you get to kill hippies, but on three and four, the hippies help you somehow. They like give you items and shit. I mean, uh, how do you change an enemy into a friend just like that? Every enemy I've ever had, they're still my fucking enemy. This is much better than spending time with actual people. As I said, you can also use a slingshot as a weapon in the game, and it hurls poo-poo. And the weapon itself is poo-poo because you have no idea where it's hitting. Time to execute my exit strategy. And I must have scared them all away. Yeah, maybe I should have taken a bath this morning. Oh, it's not you, Bambo. It's the game. But apparently it didn't stink that much for the 90s because it made Hypnotics, the developers, and Simon & Schuster stinking rich. They sold hundreds of thousands of copies of this game just during the late 90s. Enough to warrant them to try it again. And again. And again! And get a spin-off of- Fuck that, I'm not reviewing that. I remember distinctly seeing compilation box sets of Dear Avenger and Kmart. Yeah, Kmart. That ought to tell you something about these games. It would sit right next to the Pac-Man ripoffs and Serious Sam. There were never any black people at my Kmart, neither. What was it, KKK Mart? I'm sorry. I didn't mean to... trigger you. Okay, let me be honest with you. That's kind of a hard joke to get. But like they say, you need a high IQ to watch Working Man Games. Actually, you know what? That would kind of make it worse. For Dear Avenger 2, it looks like they used the same engine as the first game, only instead of hunting rednecks in the woods, you are downtown in their home territory. As a matter of fact, the game is called Deer in the City. And on this one, you get a nice little intro cutscene. Oh yeah, looks like I might get a little white tail tonight. And this one actually has a plot. Apparently Bambo's girlfriend gets run over, and Bambo decides to take the fight to the city. Look out, baby! It's showtime. And so the game begins. Welcome. Before we begin, there are a few issues we feel compelled to raise. Oh. First of all, please rest assured that no cartoon characters were harmed in the making of Dear Avenger 2. Although it appears that various characters die or more correctly are tranquilized with very powerful animal tranquilizers, this is not the case. In okay, this sounds like Bambo pretending to be the Stanley Parable guy. And the thought that the last thing to enter her mind wasn't him, but a damn headlight, or maybe even a front tire. And not only that, but did you get a look at her? I mean, it's not like I'm into that sort of thing. But but, but she was hot, and, and I, 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 I'm just saying, you know, like in a natural one of God's creatures sort of way. It's okay, dude. We're all furries here. Wait, are we? But in case we accidentally offend some of you, we still want you you to feel satisfied with the purchase of this product. Thank you for your patronage. And now you finally get control of your mouse and can choose to click and see the first Easter egg in the game. Oh, and we had such high hopes for you. And this pretty much plays on a loop for the rest of your life. So. You just have to press escape or something and go back to the menu. Then we get to play the game. And okay, that picture of Bambo is actually kind of cool. This time, the weapons in the game actually do have variants. They don't all do the same thing. You get a semi-auto pistol, a three-round burst rifle, and a double barrel. Even though this uses the same game engine, this is a completely different type of game. It's kind of a 2D first-person shooting arcade kind of thing. You can take damage this time around, and the fart is no longer a call, it's a weapon. And you can charge it up for more damage. I can't believe I'm saying that. 
Damn, should have had more beans. Well, since the game plays different, is it any better? No sorry, Bob. This game is hard. You have to go through every little enemy in this little neighborhood here, and after all that's done, you've got to fight the boss of this level. Thing is, your health is so drained by the time you get to the boss, you won't last one bullet. And you have no idea where the boss is going to come from. He will come out of nowhere and immediately throw hits at you before you can get down and get away from the bullets. As a matter of fact, all the enemies in this game are like that. Even this little enemy I'm about to shoot right here that's in this manhole. You have to time everything exactly right if you don't want to get shot by any of these little characters. There we go. I shot him. That's all the characters left on this level. Now I just gotta fight the boss. But where is he gonna come out of? Where is he gonna come? Where is he at? And when is he gonna start shooting at you? You don't know until it's already happened. Lousy. There, I'm dead. Maybe you should play solitaire. Did you even see where he came from? Here, I'll slow it down so you can see. That was three frames of animation and he killed me on the third one. Really isn't much more to say about this game. The rest of the levels are the same thing. And kill people, die, etc. Now the third one is something special. This time they went to 3D. Oh my, is it mating season already? <laughs> Bambo, not as long as there are helpless animals suffering out there. I simply can't get in the mood. No! So now Bambo has to get his bitch back in the mood by killing rednecks. And now he has a hunting lodge. Holy shit, look at this place too. Where was this on MTV Cribs? And my god, what happened to Bambo? Poor guy. What the? <laughs> What is that walk cycle? We got some funky stay in the live strut over here. <laughs> hey Bambo, can you moonwalk that shit? Also, I want to point out that during this time in 3D games, lips did not move on 3D characters. Charlton Heston says this one's N-R-A-O-K. -okay. I don't understand how anybody can live like this for more than five seconds. My neck! Gameplay footage. Now we see that Dear Avenger has gone back to its roots. We're in the woods. We are hunting rednecks. We've got calls and we've got other stuff too. We've got items. Did I mention the calls are back? Hey, look! A secret entrance to the Grand Ole Opry. Toilet paper? I'll start the bidding at $5. Notice that they chose a really weird camera angle that's almost like the Resident Evil 4 camera angle, except it's nothing like the Resident Evil 4 camera angle, and it's awful and I hate it. This game in general is just a mess to play. It's really hard to aim your gun. It's hard to do anything. And the frame rate, oh god, the frame rate. Everything I tried, I mean, it just stayed horrible. There is something new you can do, though. Throw bait and the rednecks will go right for it. A pack of cold ones. What red-blooded hunter can resist? Everything to do with shooting in this game just feels so floaty and awful. It's hard to describe, but like, when you click the button to shoot, it doesn't feel like you shot, if that makes any sense. It doesn't feel like you shot anything. And there's like this weird lag between you clicking the button and the gun going off. Well, nevertheless, I killed a redneck. Dang, and I was just learning how to use soap. Hunters are merely herders, with an R where the N used to be. Know what I mean? He's right. Do you know that? You know what? Fuck that one. The only good thing about it's the moonwalking. Oh, and the fact that I can do this. Charlton Heston says, oh yeah. 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 Charlton Heston says, this one's and oh yeah. And now we come to numero... Quattro? Yeah, Quattro. You know, we have looked at a lot of hunting games, and these are all the ones that I actually had that I didn't emulate. 
I tell you right now, I really love all the cheap laughs I've gotten off of these stupid hunting games. I guess there will never be a truly good hunting game. <laughs> Walking simulator. But yeah, this is the one that I really looked forward to playing because I'd heard from people that this was the good Deer Avenger. Like this one was actually worth playing. Now, is it worth playing? Well, my official review on that is one word. Huh? Also, just so you know, this game's got an advanced farticle system. This one's got the weirdest intro of the four. It starts out like a Starsky and Hutch show. Deer, a Jeep, a deer and a Jeep. And oh my god, Bambo, what happened to you? What's bad is no care or thought was put into this intro, despite the fact that this game is considered considerably better than its forefathers. Look at the glitches in this pre-rendered video. This is pre-rendered, y'all. This isn't a graphical glitch. This was in the video. They would have had to known about this. Well, not only did Bambo lose his strut, he lost his man cave. Now he has a... cave. Oh, and here's a cute little feature. You can watch all the cutscenes on this game and all the other Deer Avenger games. That's including the endings. So I guess that's pretty neat. You get a lot more weapons this time around. It ain't just three. It's a good bit of them. And you get little items like a scope and a GPS to play with. And of course, nobody did their homework on these weapons. The 357. Dirty Harry's sidearm of choice. 44! Everybody knows that! You know, me being a crazy redneck gun nut, I always get so pissed off when they don't get the names of guns right. Uh, I guess that's just the asshole in me. For one thing, the Beretta 92 never came in a 45 ACP, and they clearly call it a 45 in the game. Beretta 45. Now they did make one called a PX4 that came in a 45, but this one, no, 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 no. Also, do you like my Resident Evil grips? Look at that, I'm trying to show that off. Now you've got items in this game too, and they're all different variations of farts. And none of them do jack shit to help you. They might as well just be there for looking at. The only item you should even care about in this game is the rocket fart. Even though this weapon here has a very nice blast radius, you can't get close enough to them to be able to hit them. Because by the time you get close enough, they've done shot you to death. Your health is really low in this game. So I go to that big international population in the sky. Okay, could somebody clue me in on how a Japanese businessman has anything to do with rednecks or deer hunting? I don't reckon I'm gonna have to think about breathing much anymore. Well, well, one extreme to the other. I think rednecks have been set back another hundred years. Oh, and should I even mention we have more redneck calls? Wow, a brand new pickup truck with the keys in it. Who wants a VD patch? Does anyone know Donald Trump? He left his wallet here. Wow, I bet when this game came out, there was a lot of people that would have said, no, I don't know. But yeah, despite the items being not really that great, aiming being a little bit hard, you not having that much health, I found myself getting real invested in this game. I, when, I, when I recorded footage for it, I recorded the most footage for this because I kept playing it. It must have been something about it that I just found intriguing because I just kept playing it. But if I could take one thing away from Dear Avenger as a series, get rid of the fucking fart jokes. There again, I guess the kind of person that would buy the Dear Avenger games is that class of people that actually think that kind of shit's funny. So there we go, Dear Avenger. Three pretty crappy games and one mediocre game. Not really much else to say about it, other than, yeah. Does it do a good job at making fun of the Deer Hunter series? Yes! Would I play Deer Avenger before I would play Deer Hunter? Fuck yes. But anyway, that's Deer Avenger. That's our show. Now if you excuse me, I have to go get a gun. Back at present time. Yeah, did you forget about that? Me too, holy shit. Look here, the Deer Avenger is no normal deer. 
He is one buck fuck son of a bitch. Buck fuck? Buck fuck. Hmm. He does not like rednecks. He loves, he does love to kill rednecks. Killing is not one of my favorite things, you know what I mean? Cigarette. I'm gonna need a lot of help. I do mean a lot of help. And I need you to be quiet about it. Actually, no, I better keep that one. Here, you can have the shotgun. Eat lead, pansy. Fuck, it's him! Shit, 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 shit. what was it, was it? Uh, oh, one, 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 uh, ooh, one. Uh, you goof now, Buck McCoy. Say hello to my little friend. Don't run off and cry to mommy. Get back here and fight like a Good night, John Deere. Maybe you should play solitaire. Well, hell, that was fun. Hope y'all enjoyed this video about Deer Avenger. If y'all did, y'all subscribe and like and comment and click that bell shit and all that crap that people like to do on the YouTubes. Ow, that was fucking hot. And uh, I'm on Tumblr, I'm on Twitter. Everything is Stuart K. Riley. Except the uh, Twitter. The Twitter is I'm Stuart K. Riley. I have a coffee, K O F I. Uh, that's a link in the description at the tip jar and you can give me money and I can get you games to review Ain't that nice? I can't keep my hat level. Ain't that horrible? Don't you love this gun? I do. I love guns. Can't you tell? Dear Avenger, working man games. Stuart K. Riley, I'm gone. Desktop deer hunter, computer simulated number one top gunner. Dragging down white tail trophies, booty cracking pope and young. Like that should be the end of Either it. Either using my shotgun or rifle on my bow, which is no so, matter what location, dark conditions, or the weather. Desktop deer hunter, had this trap on the ground. Trap on the hold up. Thing. It's another frickin' other. Can't get the damn tripod folded up. Can't do nothing for shit. Can't do shit for crap. Well, with just you know one I mean? point and click of the button, I can be in one of four states. Even sitting high in the autumn, leaves are in the snow on a wintry day. And I wonder what my old grandpappy would think about this high tech hunting in the house. And instead of trailing deer with a no hound dog, we're tracking them down with a mouse. I got work. Huh. Yes, I am the I got desktop I deer hunter. Computer simulated number one top gunner. Tracking down white tail trophies, booty cracking, poking young. Either using my shotgun or rifle on my bow, which is Motherfucker no still recording. What locations are conditions <laughs> or the weather around the desktop? <sighs> Charlton Heston says, Oh yeah. 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 Charlton Heston says,